Hello everyone. It's another little Tim's Brick Adventure episode. I just um, wanted to kind of do a year-end wrap-up. Um, I'm not sure when I started the channel. It's been maybe a year, but it's been a fantastic year. And it's thank you to all of you um, who have subscribed and liked and commented and supported. Y'all are like family to me. Um, once you get in my little circle. <laughs> um, and I have gone from nothing to 200 and I think as of today, 221 subscribers. I'm not sure. I lost a couple <laughs> here the last week, so I'm not sure what that's about. But um, I appreciate everybody, all of you that have decided to come along this little adventure for me and uh, just know that I appreciate you and will continue to try to come up with some new and unique things and try and come up with things that favors, you know, that you like um, as well. Uh, it's been quite a year and I'm looking forward to starting the new year with uh, some new opportunities and just taking this to a whole new level and it'll be because of you guys and all your support. Um, there's a lot of people I probably should name specifically that have been very, uh, helpful. I will say, uh, I met Brick Smith, Julian Smith. He friend requested me right before Brick Rodeo. And, um, then he happened to be a Brick Rodeo. And so I got to meet him firsthand and, you know, it's one of them things that there truly are moments in time that will change your life. And that making that decision to walk over to his table and introduce myself has just made my life exponentially uh, better. Um, I talked to him about my channel. He came over and did a live Facebook of my Wild West build right away. We talked. He, uh, as you, the video, I heard a previous video, he gave me a pink bucket. So he, uh, honored me by asking me to be part of the pink bucket nation, which I am very pleased and honored to be a part of. And we'll, I finally got all the stickers so I can decorate my bucket and we'll wear it proudly at Brick Fair, Alabama coming up here in a couple of weeks. I can't believe it's here. Um, been a journey for that. So I got a lot of work to do between now and then. Um, he, uh, I don't know, he just, he got me into live streaming right away and introduced me to Haley Bricks, whom I hadn't heard of for years <laughs> through my local Lego store. She worked there at one point and they'd always ask me, hey, have you seen her at the shows and stuff? And I hadn't yet. And so I took a man from another state to finally introduce me to a young lady that doesn't live that far away. <laughs> kind of crazy. And then he got me Brick Blaze, his show, Jason. He'd been so great. Always invited me. I usually get to go on there Monday nights. And Haley got me in with Hoosier Bricks. And so I'm on there quite a bit and have met a massive amount of people that way. And I'm so excited that I'm going to probably get to meet a lot of them at Brick, Al Brick Fair, Alabama in person and just take that friendship to a whole new level. Um, so, uh, you know, I just, it's great. And I love doing these videos. I have a lot of fun with them. Um, I kind of staying away from the live streaming cause there's so many good people out there already doing it and that are allowing me the zoom. I'm on to get to do a show with on the, his uh, old gray bricks once in a while. Um, just, you know, it's, so I don't feel the need to try to add to my, uh, already workload trying to get other things done, but it eventually might happen. But for right now, it's just fun getting to be part of these other shows. Um, got a lot of big, got, like I said, I've got three conventions possibly coming up. We got Brick Fair Alabama in a couple of weeks. And then a couple of weeks later, Brickfest Live is coming here to Houston. So my Wild West display will get uh, come out again. And then I'm hoping in March, uh, 
brick universe is coming to Oklahoma City and things are kind of coming together to be able to go uh, be part of that show. I haven't been in a brick universe for several, many years. Well, 2018 was the last time it was in Tulsa. And uh, so I really like that show. I like the Bites family that have put on that show. Um, always a lot of fun and they're a joy to work with. And uh, so, um, and the lugs, the OKC lug usually there and uh, in past the Dallas lug, I was part of, I was an honorary part of them usually representing that at the Tulsa show and then in the Dallas show a couple years before that. So, um, a lot of big things, um, trying to progress this YouTube channel, but like I said, I just want to kind of year in wrap up and thank you all so much and for all the likes, the great comments, um, the subscribing and, um, I won't lie. It hurts me a little that I've lost subscribers, especially I lost a couple here. I get, I get, I mean, for every two or three I gain, I lose one or two. <laughs> so it's been kind of a hard crawl. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's something YouTube does too. I don't know, but, uh, I'm still learning and trying to get better and do better quality videos as I re-educate myself with my video software and stuff. So, um, right now just keep it pretty plain, simple. And the uh, main thing is the message and the content. So, um, thank you to all of you and look forward to seeing y'all or meeting y'all in person someday and, uh, just keep on loving them Lego and having fun. And I'll keep on sharing what I love about it and we'll just make the years fun. And, uh, so here's to a great 2022. And again, thank you all. Bless you all and have a very happy, happy new year.